So today I thought it would be fun to make some macaroni and cheese for dinner because, you know, I like mac and cheese. Let's get to it. So today we're going to start off here with some, some chicken. Now I have let this defrost previously, but it, there is still a little bit of, um, you know, stuff in the center that's still a little tough. It does make it slightly easier to cook or to cut if there's still some some icy bit in there because um, if it's all defrosted then you know you don't have quite as much rigidity when you're going to slice it and that that can be a real pain. So anyway we're just going to slice these in strips like that and then we're probably going to end up cutting them a little bit smaller because we're putting this in something. If we were just you know serving the chicken by itself then you know strips would be great. But as is, we're gonna want to, you know, get it relatively cuboid. We are now going to want to cook this chicken. So I've got here a little skillet. We're gonna turn our pan on to high, add a little bit of oil. And then we're going to add all of this chicken, just like so. And I'm going to wash my hands and the cutting board really quick. Which then gives us just enough time for our uh, chicken here to start sizzling a little bit. So we're just going to give it a good mix. We then summon forth Ternatatron, the uh, pot that contains water. At which point your chicken should be just about done cooking. At which point we're going to want to start seasoning, so we'll add a little bit of salt. Gonna add some of that there pepper stuff. And we're gonna add probably about five and a half peppercorns this time. And some amount of onion powder. A little bit of uh, that there garlic stuff. We take a brief break to add noodles. We're then going to add just a little bit of cinnamon. And then we're gonna start constructing our cheese sauce here. So we're gonna add just a little bit of water. And this is just to uh, give us a little bit of room to work with for our sauce. So we're then going to add about two dollops of cottage cheese, uh, maybe two and a half. Add a dab of uh, heavy whipping cream, which then gives us this nice creamy sort of base. Um, we're going to add a little bit of this hickory seasoning liquid smoke, just for flavour. This is totally optional. We're then going to put our sauce on hold for just a moment to drain our noodles. We're going to set them right up here for just now. And then we're going to add the cheese. You want to add, you know, about one to two fistfuls. Whether that be crumbled, cubed, or shredded. Once the cheese is melted, we're going to go ahead and put our noodles in a casserole dish. I do have a hat pad underneath this so that it doesn't damage the uh, tablecloth, because this will be quite warm. Our... We then add our sauce. Just going to liberally apply to the whole thing. And then we're going to top this all off with some more cheese on top. And then you're going to want to broil this in the oven. And the broiling is just so that you can get like that crispy crust on the top of the mac and cheese because that is, after all, what homemade mac and cheese is all about. So we're then sticking this in the oven to broil for just a little bit and like I said we're just doing it so that it gets nice and crispy on top. And when you see it bubbling like that, it's done! And thus we have mac and cheese. Totally fantastic. Highly recommended. Anyway, I want to say thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.